I feel that through improvisation and spontaneity in art, it can reveal more feelings. I'm a big advocate for art therapy and um, art as a release for emotions. And I feel like if I just set out with an explosive feeling in mind, I think the viewer might extract that same passion that I put in. For example, this piece called Wide Awake, it deals with, you know, each, it's, it's very active, it's very chaotic, and it's made through a chaotic mood that I'm in. If I can convince you that you're, you're somewhere else, while you're there, I want you to experience an emotional um, connection between the colors, between the activity of the line, between whether um, what kind of painting is it? Is it active? Is it is it imaginative? Is it um, anxiety filled? Is it mellow? Is it calming? I want you to connect to that emotion that I was in while I was creating this. Through improvisation and spontaneity, just by working and not really having a preconceived idea, it's just a raw um, output of emotion, the, the rawest, you know? It, it's almost forensic in a way. This is exactly what was happening. I, I definitely want my viewer to um, really uh, delve into the painting and contemplate um, the things that are abstract and most of the things we talk about today are abstract justice patriotism love you know um, passion these are abstract terms so when I when I work the the thing I want to convey is it's it's complicated <laughs> and it, it demands viewer participation so when I'm, I'm working I'm searching for things that I can um, infuse into my paintings that people can extract only if they're looking. You know, if, if, you're, if you pass right by it, it demands inspection, it demands further analysis. And I don't stop till I think it's interesting. I was in a car accident, a near fatal car accident um, a couple years ago, and I painted this, you know, relatively after, like, you know, just maybe a couple months. but. It deals with impact and collision and um, high velocity. This, but it's you know the shape. It's in the guise of a landscape. Through pretty remedial um, compositions, pretty you know standard landscape. I can convey my feelings. Sometimes secretly, sometimes obviously. But I it, I want you to extract them. But also, I want you to have a visual experience. I want you to be excited, even if it's a little kid that doesn't want to look at a painting and say, oh, what is this guy feeling about? <laughs> you know, it's like, I want you to uh, just be interested. So I try to use all of the properties of aesthetics. You know, in my paintings, I remove painting. Uh, I paint it, I slather paint on, and I remove it with a sharp blade, like this. But. It, it, it speaks of removal process. Mm -hmm. And I've removed something from this. In this piece right here, Deacon, I, I've ripped up drawings, some cool drawings that I did, and I ripped them up and only showed you the top sheet. And say I distort a, a, a particular feature, I'm telling you about what I look at in the mirror or what I like or what I think is interesting. You know? I was very interested in physics as a young person, in science and taking things apart and um, putting them back together in interesting ways. And with physics, it's like, let me just grab any old painting like right here. You know? One thing I'm trying to show here is uh, infinite depth, infinity, this way distant past, and then there's this level of organic, stopped time, the drip, it suddenly stops. And it, there's, it just, 
at any minute it's going to continue, but we stop time. There's gravity, there's weight, there's light, energy, mass, movement, velocity, speed. These are all science words, and I really tried to kind of tap into the scientific, and it's the enzyme of life. You know, a lot of my paintings, they deal with the mechanics of the human arm. You know, take a look at one of my paintings. It's like, <laughs> they, they work like a, a, a man's arm works. One time a painting of mine, a, a friend was careless and kind of like leaned forward and it popped up and went, oh, oh God, no. I was like, oh. I was just a wreck, like, the, it's like someone stabbed me in the heart. And I was robbed in San Francisco. My whole studio, like 150 pieces, my whole studio was robbed, cleaned out. And I thought, you know, there is emotional attachment to it. And it's very strong. Each one, you know, I birth it. <laughs> I really make it and I, I slave over a hot painting making these things. And once it's gone, it's like, okay, I need to do that again. I need to replace that, that emotion, that, that, uh, that page in my diary. So I'll write another one. It's art is an, it's an obsession and a storage problem. <laughs> so.